In this session, we're going to show how to allow outbound tag writes using the MQTT engine module so we can write down to a tag in the PLC on the other side. Because by default, when you install the module, there's a setting that blocks these device tag writes. And we can actually see that in the designer in the MQTT engine area. I know these tags are writable on the other side, but if I try to write to this here, it's not going to allow me to do so. In fact, I'm going to see an error in my, in my console if I go and look at that. Now, I know that these tags are writable. In fact, if I go down to transmission, that is actually the ones publishing it. If I make this go to true down there, I, it's, I wrote to the PLC. In fact, I'll see that come through up here on the engine. So I know engine's actually blocking it. Now, there are many layers along the chain. There's engine, there's the MQTT server, there's the edge node, which is transmission. Of course, there's a connection to the PLC. Everything has to be allowed to be rewrite all the way through if you want this to happen. So let's first check the MQTT engine module, and we can do that by going to the configuration that's in the gateway uh, web page. So in the configuration section, I can go to the MQTT engine settings, and right there under miscellaneous is a block device commands setting. I have to uncheck that to allow these tag writes. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. Go ahead and save my settings. Now if we go back to the designer, I should be allowed to do that write. So I'm going to go ahead and check it, uncheck it, and now that write went down. You can see a transmission. It is now false. So that actually went down all the way to the PLC. But again, there's many layers in the chain. So if you had a failure, if it still wasn't writing, we have to look at every one of those layers. So engine's the first place to check. The second place to check would be with the MQTT server. In my case, I'm using the MQTT distributor module under settings. There are access control lists that are set up per user. And so in this case, I'm connecting through a user called admin, and it has full read-write capability on hashtag, which is every topic that's coming through on that particular server. So I got full privileges here with Engine to can to, when I'm connecting to that MQTT server. So that part is not the bottleneck. The next piece would be on the Edge node, which in my case is the MQTT transmission module. And with that, the transmission module has transmitters that are publishing the data. And so in my case, all my tags are defined as tag provider. If I edit this transmitter, I can see that there is a setting uh, in here that actually is blocking those commands as well. So in my case, it's not. It's unchecked, so we're good to go. But that's another place to actually look. And because it's transmission as well, the last place to check, if again, if it wasn't working and that setting was OK, is the actual tags themselves. So this writable Boolean 1 tag is has the access rights of setting to read writes. So we're good there. And of course, this is the actual writable tag within, within the PLC. So again, you have to check every layer of the chain. Typically, by default, it's just the MQTT engine module. You've got to uncheck that to allow those writes to occur.